Okay, let's find the distance between these two points. So we got 1, 3 and 5, 9. How can we possibly find the distance between here and here? That's the topic of this video. And you're going to need a formula. Okay, so if you don't remember the formula, if you, if you kind of know or remember, I know how to do this, but I forgot the formula. Well, I'll cut you a little bit of slack. And I'll give you the formula here in a second, and then you can kind of go ahead and do the calculations. But um, I would say that the, uh, the formula that we're going to be using, it's called the distance formula. So that kind of makes sense, right? Uh, but it's one of those formulas that you should definitely kind of um, put into your long-term memory. There's a lot of things you learn in mathematics, some of the things that... Uh, you know, you can kind of reference your notes, but there's other things that need to kind of go into your long-term memory. Uh, one of those would be uh, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So if you're not familiar with this, well then, you know, this is extremely important. And this is called the Pythagorean theorem. And this guy right here actually helps us determine the distance formula. So you're gonna see that here in a second, but uh, if you think you know how to do this problem, if you think you remember, uh, the distance formula, again, the coordinates is 1, 3, and 5, 9. See, these are the coordinates or ordered pairs. So it's a pair of numbers, 1, 3, and uh, 5, 9. So there's obviously a pair of numbers, but they have a particular order. So you'll hear these things uh, referred to as an ordered pair or a point on the xy plane or a coordinate, et cetera, et cetera. But the bottom line is I need you to find the distance between here and here. Okay, so uh, this is basic algebra 101. You definitely need to know how to do this. It's not some kind of trivial little topic. Uh, then this will definitely uh, come up uh, in your future if you continue to study mathematics. But if you're definitely taking algebra, uh, you know, you need to know this. It's not that difficult. And I'm going to show you how to do this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can um, check out my math help program. I'm following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. That's a lot of full courses. I mean, that's not, I mean, I'm saying these names, but... You know, just imagine like an algebra textbook, you know, or a geometry textbook, you know, and all everything that's inside of it. I My courses are completely compre uh, comprehensive. So you're not getting quick tutorials. You're getting the whole deal. Um, I'm also going to be launching pre-calculus here in about a week. Super excited about that. But uh, I also have many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, AccuPlacer, CLEP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, many other type of exams as well, I can help you out because all those exams have math. But why, why do they have math? Because math is very important in a lot of different, a lot of different endeavors that you might get, uh, go into, whether that's graduate school or trying to get your high school diploma or maybe get into nursing school or whatever the case might be, or, or you want to become an elementary teacher, you got to know math, okay? So I can help you out and prepare so you can be successful on those exams. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Uh, now, I also do a lot with homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have an excellent homeschool learning system. And then obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, uh, if you are truly serious about wanting to be great in mathematics. Now, if you're not serious, then disregard this part of the video, but you're here to learn something about math. So I'm assuming that one, you're probably a student and two, that you want to uh, learn and you get better. So that's excellent. But I'm going to tell you right now, chances are uh, you're, you're not taking strong enough notes. Okay. And that's okay because the majority of students out there do not take great math notes. I've been teaching math for decades. All right. It's hard to take great math notes. It's a, it requires daily focus and effort. But if you do this, you're going to get outstanding grades. Okay. And the reverse is true. If you blow this off, you're going to get grades like that look like this. So you can't be saying, Oh, you know, my math teacher is terrible or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not good in math, et cetera, et cetera. You got to work at being good at math. Okay. There's, there's not, even if you're strong, you got good math aptitude, you have to put the work in. Okay. So it's just discipline, uh, but it will pay off. Now, 
um, as you're improving your notes, you can use my notes to study from. Uh, those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get back to this problem. And I just want to show you very briefly uh, how we can uh, determine the distance uh, between uh, these two coordinates. Now, again, if you know how to do this, go ahead and write these uh, coordinates down. I'm going to erase this here, and I'm, then I'm going to show you the distance formula. All right, so the coordinates are 1, 3, and 5, 9. I will give you the distance formula here in a second, and then I will solve this. But basically, the distance formula comes from this formula, and that's the Pythagorean theorem. And basically, the Pythagorean theorem states that when you have a right triangle, okay, let's say, let's make this uh, point from here to here that we're trying to locate. Let's make that like the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So this would be A, this would be B, and this would be C. Okay, so if I can find the difference between these coordinates on the x-axis and then a difference between these coordinates on the y-axis, okay, this would be y and this would be x, well, then effectively I would have my A and B, and then I would just plug all that stuff in here and uh, solve for C, and that would be the distance. And that's exactly what the distance formula is doing. It's just a handy-dandy uh, formula that describes what's going on uh, right here. Okay, So let's go ahead and take a look at the distance formula. And here it is in all its glory. So the distance between uh, two coordinates, and we'll, we have uh, one point, uh, x, y, and here is our second point, x sub 1, y sub 1. Okay, so uh, all we have to do is we find the differences of the x's and we'll square them and we'll find the differences of the y's and we square them. Don't worry about, sometimes you'll get negative uh, numbers here, uh, but when you square that, the negatives go away, so uh, no problem there. So we just do this basic uh, calculation, so we'll add up the square of these guys and then we'll take the square root and then we'll have the distance between these two points right here. Okay, so... Uh, if you think you know how to do this problem again, then I erased the coordinates. So unfortunately, you're going to have to look at my answer. Uh, and here it is. Okay, so here is those coordinates, uh, 1, 3, and 5, 9. And so like any formula, you got to know how to use the formula. So how do you use uh, any particular formula? Well, step one is you got to understand what the formula means. So if you look at the distance formula, you're like, oh, that looks scary. What is it? You know, you got to understand the application of the formula and what the variables in the formula mean. So again, these X's means we have to find the differences of the X's. So here, my point, uh, the two points I had were 1, 3, and 5, 9. Which are the X coordinates? Well, 1 and 5. Well, which one is X and which one is X and 1? It doesn't make a difference. So I plugged in 1 minus 5. That's the difference of my X's. But you can do 5 minus 1. It's not going to break it. The distance formula is pretty forgiving uh, in this manner. So bottom line is we're going to find the differences of the X's right there. And then over here, we're going to find the differences of the Y's. So my Y's are 3 and 9. Or 9 and 3 doesn't make a difference. Because when I square them, I'm going to get the same answer. So now... Let's go ahead and uh, do the rest of the math here. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4 squared. Then I have uh, 3 minus 9, that's negative 6. I'll square that. So negative 4 squared, of course, is positive 16. Negative 6 squared, positive 36. Add these guys together, I get 52. So the distance is the square root of 52. And I can go to my calculator, and that's approximately 7.21. And that's it. I am done. Okay, so let's look at this, though, on our lovely uh, plane here, XY plane. So here's my two coordinates, and so that distance would be uh, the square root of 52 exactly. Okay, so if I wanted, if I ever said, give me the exact answer, this is the answer you would give me. Okay, if I wanted to say, well, what's, a, you know, what's the approximate distance? It's 7.21 because, you know, this decimal goes on and on and on. So I'm just kind of uh, stopping and rounding right there. But uh, that's basically it. Now, if you uh, were able to do this problem and you actually remembered uh, the formula, then I must indeed give you a happy face with the crazy 1985 Mohawk, okay, with plenty of hairspray. Um, so, yes, we used a lot of hairspray back way back in those good old days. Uh, 
Definitely wouldn't recommend it because our hairs were probably fairly flammable. But you definitely earned yourself an A plus, uh, 100%. I'll give you two stars because this is formula. Uh, you know, it's basic algebra, all right? This is stuff you need to know. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, there's a lot of students who can't do certain more difficult things in algebra, but the distance formula typically isn't one of them, okay? Even uh, like my uh, C and B students were able to do distance formula problems, right? Just a little uh, uh, piece of advice. When you take any math course, all right, you should be like trying to ace, well, of course, you need to ace everything, but it's much easier uh, to get A's on test in the beginning than it is at the end of the course because this stuff is generally the harder stuff and this stuff is like the easier review stuff. So when you start taking any math class, you got to like try to rack up your points, okay? Because even the best uh, students or the you know, students who really love math or have the you know, excellent math aptitude, they could be quite challenged over here you know, when it becomes more difficult, especially in courses that uh, are much more challenging for all students, like my pre-calculus course, things get kind of crazy over here. And even when I went to college, okay, uh, university, uh, you know, I was, you know, taking calculus uh, one and two. I thought I was like, I thought I was the man because I was getting A's and all those courses. I was like, look at me, I'm so awesome. You know, I could definitely uh, become a... Uh, math major and you know because I, I've done so well in calculus and this was pretty hard stuff but when I be, uh, started doing graduate level mathematics uh, and you know I was just like like this all the time uh, it was pretty pretty bad but it was only uh, in my math major I don't know I'm kind of rambling here but um, we started off uh, with quite a few people that uh, elected to become a mathematics major majors, but by the time we ended up in our senior year, I think there was like eight of us left, okay? And we all pretty much look like this. And these are pretty, uh, you know, uh, these people are pretty smart folks. That's because our teachers all had like these crazy PhDs from MIT, Harvard, Caltech, and, you know, we kind of, they made us look, you know, pretty, pretty bad. But that's okay, you know, it's, you know, part of the growing experience. And I value that education more than anything. So, if you tend to look like this sometimes, don't, you know, don't frown on it because some of the stuff can be challenging, okay? But you have to work hard at learning anything, okay? So that's why I'm telling you, get the disciplines that are required to be successful and not only learning mathematics, learning anything or just in life, okay? You got to learn how to focus, right? That's the bottom line. All right, so... If this video was uh, helpful in some way or you enjoyed it in even one tiny little small iota, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos. Now you think about it, it's a lot of work, okay, uh, to make a video like this if I have like a thousand of them. But it's taken me years uh, because I am passionate and always have been passionate about teaching math. I really try to teach, make math clear and understandable. So if you like my uh, teaching style, I have tons of uh, topics here, basic to advanced math on my channel there for you. But uh, if you want my best math help, that'll definitely be within my math help program. Okay, so that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.